I've never really thought to seek help until now. I always thought therapy was too confrontational. So do you, would you say you're afraid to confront your problems? Maybe, but I, I think I'm a little more afraid about what happened if I solve them. Could you elaborate, please? There's not much to elaborate on. It's just that my friend's going to Missouri for a little while. So. so you're pretty close with this friend, I imagine. Well, I mean, yeah, we've been like best friends since like August in the first grade. Or, I mean, something like that. And, you know, he's just such a good friend and he always helps me with all my problems. And what's his friend's name? Um, Lucas. And, and I mean, like, he's like a really good friend and I don't know, with, with him out of town, I, just, I, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do. It can be difficult to live without a friend for a long period of time. How long will he be gone exactly? You know, I, I, I think it's only a couple weeks. He's coming back Friday the 17th at around 3 p.m. I can understand it may be difficult to be without Lucas. Being away from loved ones is always very hard. I would recommend writing, you know, in a notebook, a journal. Jot down your thoughts and come ready to share with me next week. Sound all right? Yeah, sounds all right. Thank you. That's okay. Of course. might have lied a little. I think I'm a little more than lost. The voices, the thoughts, they're slowly coming back. I feel incomplete and uncertain. A piece of myself, my personality, my interests. I'm starting to think maybe they never really belonged to me. Well, I'm glad you used your journal. Is this still how you feel? Some people do start to feel better after the first couple of days. You know, I, I don't really know how they how they could. It's with with Lucas gone. It's just it's been really really difficult, and I, I'm just starting to get anxious and, and paranoid. And I can't even. It's okay, June. Take a deep breath. Go on. Dr. Corbin, I, I, I think I'm starting to see things. Okay, thank you for telling me. Uh, what exactly are you seeing? It's these, like, people. And it, it, it feels like they're, like, they're, like they're judging me. I mean, do you think they're judging me? I, no, okay. No, I, I know they're not real, but it, it, I have these thoughts that sometimes, I don't know. I can assure you, Jim, that there is nothing watching you. I'm sorry I have to ask you this, but are you having thoughts of hurting yourself or others? No, I mean, do you really think I do that? I mean, I, I, I can't, I haven't even slept in, in the last couple of days. You, you really think I, I, I'd, I'd kill somebody? Please, let's calm down, June. I mean, I can't even tell what's real. I mean, I mean are you, I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta go. I, it's June. I gotta go, I'm sorry. June. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't think I can function anymore. At least Lucas will be back soon. I'm sure I'll feel better then.
doing in my house what do you mean man just making it dinner how the hell did you get in my house dude you keep your spare key under the flower pot i've known about it for years how do you know that june i was making you dinner you have fun on your trip yeah i did What's this about? Are you upset about something? Upset? What do you think, Lucas? I, 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 you're gone for two weeks, and I come into your house, and I make you a meal, and you can't even spare me a detail? June, I don't know why you're here. You need to leave. You're kicking me out? You never cared, did you? Why? You're judging me, aren't you? Look, I, I don't know what this is about. Shut up! I do all this work for you, making dinner when you come home from your trip, and you kick me out of your damn house? Stop. No, you stop. I can't believe it. We're supposed to be best friends. This is, this is how you treat Best friends, what? June, I barely know you. I barely even speak to you. What the hell are you? Sorry, I, uh, I think I lost my journal. I, I couldn't find it. That's perfectly all right. Uh, is there anything you remember writing down that you wanted to share with me? No, I, I, I feel a lot better now. Well, that's great to hear. Uh, I can't help but notice you look a little tired, though. Yeah, but I'm feeling a lot better now. I see. Does that mean Lucas is back? Yeah, I mean, that's that's part of why I feel so much better now. I know what you did. What? You killed him, didn't you? No. You killed your best friend. June. June. Welcome back. You seem to have been out there for a second. What? How did you know I killed him? Killed? June, what did you do? Dr. Corbin would understand, right? I mean, between my friend and I, I had a choice between insanity and the life of my best friend. And I chose not to choose life. I chose something else. And the reasons? There are no reasons. <laughs>